Okay, we're going to start part two of the Halloween Skulls 3-axis skull video series. Uh, this is the assembly series, so you're going to start with what we had at the end of um, step one, which is the rear of the skull with the rod end installed. Um, again, not too tightly so that we don't split the uh, housing, but installed with a lock nut on the back side. So that's, that's going to be our first piece. We have a 632 one quarter inch screw. We have the 12 point um, gear that comes from Servo City. Along with the gear, it comes with a small washer. Uh, we have a small Phillips head and a large Phillips head screwdriver and the jaw of the servo. Um, and if I didn't mention it, the HS85MG servo, which you're gonna need for this, uh, for this step. All right, so the first thing we need to do is unbox the servo. It's gonna come with a little package of accessories. Uh, we don't need any of these for this project. Uh, if you like to save these things, then just put them in a box someplace. Otherwise, you can toss it. We're going to take out the servo itself, and this is the H HS85MG for Metal Gear. Uh, it comes with this little servo horn on it, a little circle. Uh, let's put that in the light so you can see it. That little circle, we're going to take that off because that we do not need for this part. So I'm going to use my small Phillips head screwdriver and take the screw out of the center. Leave that right there on the table. And then we can just kind of pry this piece off. All right. So we don't need this. We're going to toss this out with the others or save them, uh, whichever way you want to go. And you will see this is the Metal Gear Servo. If you'll focus on that top. There you go, the HS85MG Servo with the Metal Gear. As you can see the servo spline right there. Okay. Once you have this gear on the servo here, you want to turn it with your fingers. You can spin this gear. You can't really see me doing it, but you, you'll be able to grab it and spin it. It's, it's a little tight, but it works. And you want to turn it all the way counterclockwise until it stops. And that's going to ensure that it's set in the uh, right position for all of the routines and their programming uh, with the servo settings for the jaw. So all the way counterclockwise and just leave it there. And then we're going to snap this gear in place and you just slide it into the crack there and twist it. You have it snap right in. Now the first thing is you're going to see is the hole in the front is aligned right there. You can see that hole right there. And then inside there's another little plate in the back and I'll try and point it out right there. And that holds the back one in place. This piece on the bottom keeps it nice and tight in, in place. So if you only put, well, all we need to do is put this one screw in here and it will hold it all in there and you don't need anything else. Originally the post in the back had a hole in it for a screw but it was really just about impossible to get a screw in there and I found that it isn't needed. But once you put this one, first screw in and the other pieces of plastic that uh, form around the servo, it keeps it right tight in place, it doesn't move. So we're gonna put that screw in now. It's the 632 one quarter inch screw and uh, the hole is already threaded for it so you just place it in and then screw it down with a big Phillips head screwdriver do not over torque this because it won't be very hard to strip out that thing just put it in nice and snug and that's fine right there now you've got that all set counterclockwise all the way and we're ready to put the jaw on now we're going to leave this here and if you look at the jaw, we'll try and get a close-up of this, you will see that the inside of the jaw has a uh, star-shaped <laughs> cutout made to fit exactly over that particular gear from Servo City, the 12-tooth gear. So we're going to fit that over it right now. Now we've got it all the way to the beginning, so we want to set it so that it's straight forward. Um, a good way to measure to make sure that you're right is to grab the front side of the skull, place it over here, we'll put the wire inside, grab the front side of the skull, place it right on here the way it goes, no screws. And then you're going to take the jawbone, 
and you're going to see just about where it fits, right at the right angle, there. Now I'm going to put the post in first on the other side, and then we'll and then we'll move it around. So it's going to be right about like that. Now we can take this off. We'll put the post in. Now if you didn't see that, let's show you the post. There's your post. There's the post hole. That goes right in there. Then you fit it around the gear. See that gear inside? I'm going to push this right on it tight. Okay, now it's time to take the servo screw that came out of the servo and we're going to put it right in this hole here. And with my small Phillips head screwdriver, I'm going to screw that right in. Okay, that one you want it fairly tight. It kind of sinks right into the jaw. You don't really see it from the side. Once it's in place, you can let me I'll move this manually and you'll see and you'll be able to hear the servo moving. Okay. So if you want to, you can just uh, take a little bit of paint, color that uh, bone colored or whatever you want to do with that. And then the jaw moves considerably more than it ever would have to. Uh, so we're not using the full range of this servo. But that's it. That is step two. And there you have it. Now when you put this together, the jaw is going to move down just a little bit when you put the front on. In fact, I would open the jaw to assemble the front. Okay. And then close it. And there it is. Okay. So at the end of step two, it should look like this. You got your servo in there, and you've got your uh, rod end. You've got your rod end in there from step one. You've got your servo screwed in with that screw in the front, and you've got your jaw screwed to the servo with the gear in between. So that keeps it so that the jaw can move uh, the way it needs to without uh, ever stripping that gear. That's complete step two. Thank you, and uh, I apologize for the noise in the video. I, it's a hot day, I've got my air conditioner running.